can obviously see. And this is a great field. I mean, this one of the best surfaces in all of base. It's two games, scoring five runs twice, scoring four runs once. And now look for their first sweep. Yeah, Boston and New York both above 500, but way most in the American League. But he's been pitching really well as of late. Two since the hard stuff. So it's going to be a challenge if he wants to go with his strength and throw the hard stuff and not. All right, finally, off we go with ball one from Kramer. On a 1 0 from Kramer. Popped out of center field. Jordan Westberg swerving. Fouls off the first one from Kramer. Strike one. Blue for blooper. <laughs> exactly. Color coded. On an 0 2. Pokes it down the line. That's a souvenir. Another 0 2. Fastball going. Rios runs out of room. There's a ball one and two. Gone six on a one two. Freeman takes ball two. That 16 and six run was really wins. And when you widen the lens a little bit more, big picture this year, it's been back with LA and it's helped the pitching staff overcome a bunch of injuries. Some low. Kramer delivers. Freeman takes ball four from 0 and two to. For it. Something that I don't know one Muncie pops it off the left side Rios. Throw two pitch. Oh, good job to spoil that change up. There's another 0 2 and he leaves this one upstairs. There goes Freeman Muncie fouls it again. Is in there. Fouls it back. And so after a reason, but on paper, tough matchup for Kramer. Oh, and you tries it again. A check swing and a fastball away. Full count on Muncie. He lays off and then a check swing rotor up along first. If you happen to just tune in and you're wondering, okay, got here early as grounds crews do, but had it. it's taken him 10 pitches to get a verdict. One, two is fouled back. Leaves the high fastball up there. Poked away for Smith. Extra bases for. A curve lands for a strike. Jam shots two to nothing. It's a RBI hit since Hayward now. He takes a ball. He started the scoring last night with a three run home run. Two and oh. And a home run. And they asked Hayward about it after the game, and he said, I signed up to play winning baseball. Dave Roberts was asked in his scrum about Jason Hayward and his leadership, and he said, he takes a change up from strike one from Kramer. Got squeezed. Bouncing ball right side. Kramer cuts it off, takes it himself. Left, he falls down to sixth. And a bunch of righties at the bottom against Julio. A hit to the leadoff man. Nothing after. Well, he is the opposite store. 55 innings and since coming. Two and one. That chase fastball right there, at least. To walk in the first base runner for Baltimore. What of metrics do you trust? It's a breaker for a strike on Ryan Mountcastle because they're all going to give you a little bit different as a negative one. There is just no way that he is negative in the infield. Back to Stack S1 is based off of data. You know, it's computers doing it. 1 2 to Mountcastle is popped up out of play. And it stays the ball. He is coming home with a 1 2. The count evens 2 and 2. Tries to lay off the breaker and does. And from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 is payoff. Fastball shot to right base at Mountcastle. With runners in scoring position. It's a breaker for strike on Aaron Hicks. Yeah. 
the middle, base hit center field for Hicks. First pitch for second, and it's tied at two. Two on, one out. Oh, two spins away. Grounds one to second for Betts. He'll turn and go to second one. With under Looks like his foot does get to the bag, but does it stay on when he's receiving the ball? First and third, two gone. That one sweeps into the zone for a strike. Maria's oh two. Back goes Hayward. He'll watch it hit off the wall. Buki makes a very strong soap flakes in the dirt on the mound, and tell his guys the seat. <laughs> Down the left field line, hooking foul. One, two on the way. McCann pops it off the hand. Shadow right field. Hayward coming on to put it in the home plate so they could bounce it straight down. And the hop would be such that while the fielders waited for it, that's like almost. Shin high out there. Well manicured right field here in the big leagues these days. So the Orioles hitters would just go around in the bases while he tried to find the ball in the weeds. New York's tarp got a lot of play because we had a lot of foul balls down the left field line. That's true. Ground ball foul. It was not only. The yeah, you did that to me the other day. I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> Shopper to third, <laughs> cut off by Arias. Oh my God. Kramer throws and Betts watches a curve for a strike. It's a rear righty righty curveball. He feels like the full package when he puts his thought behind him. Changeup gets Betts looking. Right. Oh two. Back goes Hayward. He'll watch it hit off the wall. Buki makes a very strong soap flakes in the dirt on the mound and tell his guys the seat <laughs> down the left field line hooking foul was just one two on the way McCann pops it off the hand shadow right field Hayward coming to put it on the home plate so they could bounce it straight down and the hop would be such that while the fielders waited for it, that's like almost shin high out there well manicured right field here in the big leagues these days so the Orioles hitters would just go around in the bases while he tried to find the ball in the weeds New York's tarp got a lot of play because we had a lot of foul balls down the left field line that's true ground ball foul it was not only yeah, you did that to me the other day. I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> Shopper to third, <laughs> cut off by Arias. Oh my. Kramer throws, and Betts watches a curve for a strike. It's a rear righty righty curveball. He feels like the full package when he puts his thought behind him. Change up gets Betts looking. <laughs> 